Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to conduct the Wilcoxon signed rank test using R. The Wilcoxon signed rank test is a non parametric method appropriate for examining the median difference for two populations that are paired or dependent on one another. We will work with data involving measurements on systolic blood pressure before and then after receiving some treatment. We can see that the data consists of 25 paired observations with before and after measurements. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will explore the change in systolic blood pressure from before to after treatment. We can use the wilcox.test command in R to conduct this test. To access the help menu, type help and in brackets the name of the command you would like help for. Or simply place a question mark in front of the name of the command. Before conducting the test, it can be useful to examine a box plot of the data. Let's go ahead and compare the before to the after measurements. We can see some visual evidence that blood pressure is lower after treatment. Let's go ahead and test the null hypothesis that the median change in systolic blood pressure is zero. Let's also go ahead and do a two-sided test. We can do this test in R using the wilcox.test command. Here we would like to compare the before measurements to the after. We can set mu equal to zero to test if the difference in medians is zero. We can use the ALT argument and set this to two-sided to have a two-sided test or a two-sided alternative. We can set the paired argument equal to true to let R know the before and the after measurements are paired or dependent. If we would like to have a confidence interval return, we can set the conf.int argument equal to true, and we can specify the confidence level we would like using the conf.level argument. Here we can see the test returned by R. We can also see warnings letting us know that an exact p-value and an exact confidence interval cannot be calculated when there are ties in the ranks as well as when there are differences of zero. If we would like to have an approximate p-value and approximate confidence interval calculated, we can set the exact argument equal to false, asking R to not try and calculate exact p-values and confidence intervals. One other argument is we can also set the correct argument equal to false if we would like R to not use a continuity correction. We can see the test statistic of 267, the p-value of 0.00082, the 99% confidence interval running from 2 up to 14, and the sample median difference of 7.5. In the next video in this series, we will start to discuss one-way analysis of variance, or ANOVA. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.